Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we got Fabio Carvalho to check out. If you are looking into buying cheap and safe FIFA coins, look no further than footcoinshop.net. They have the fastest service, an incredible loyalty reward system, and the best prices around. Use my creator code Inception when you sign up for your account and get a 5% discount with your order. We're taking a look at a card who is five foot nine, high medium work rates, right footed, four star skimmels, they five star weak foot. Honestly, if he feels anything like Bernardo Silva on that left stick, yeah, not I'm saying. Uh, guys, by default, this card looks really sick. He looks sick because, listen, with the base card stats for the attack, it's like, oh, okay, like this card could be pretty cool. But they have defensive stats on him. So that is a huge variable to work with, okay? So, player traits in game. He's got flair, swerve, pass, team, player, technical dribbler. Let's see how he's formatted in game. He's formatted very nicely. Yeah. Yeah, because you can you can use either the Hawk or the Anchor on him, depending on how you use him in game. And either way, he's going to be formatted nicely, because if you use him in the midfield setup and you actually want to have some defensive stats on the card, you're going to have someone that on the Anchor chemistry style is going to have pace, defensive stats and physical stats. But then if you're using him mainly in the attacking positions, you would use him with a Hawk chemistry style, but he still has defensive stats. So let's say, for instance, I was lined up uh, in a formation like um, like a 4-3-2-1 and I have him being played in my left forward position on the comeback and defense instruction. This card would be really ideal for that area because he has the five star weak foot to work with. Right. So dribbling will be experimenting with because there's a lot of potential there with the lean body type, uh, five foot nine height as well. So we're going to see what that's like because all the dribbling stats is in a very good area, especially in the agility and balance department, which is usually the most important one. Shooting is going to be in a good area. Pace is essentially perfect. You know, he doesn't have finesse shot or outside foot shot, which is a little bit of a letdown for the main attacker, but... Honestly, his shooting stats is in a pretty good area and his center of gravity might be low because of him being a shorter player because Bernardo Silva doesn't have the traits, uh, the, uh, the finesse shot trait, but he still hits the finesse shot nicely because of his center of gravity being low, you know? So passing on the card, really good area. The fact that he has defensive stats is a really huge variable to work with. And then for physical capabilities, also going to be in a good spot as well. So it looks like a pretty interesting card. So we're going to go ahead and unlock him and uh, I'll show you guys how we line him up. Okay, guys. So, um... I gotta do this card on the uh, review account if possible, but uh, Fabio Carvalho, Hawk chemistry style, that's how he's formatted, right? So he gets some pretty good boosts, but like I said, it's the defensive stats that add to the card because without it, it's a, some people might not be like entirely interested, but we have him on the comeback and defense instruction on the Hawk. So I kind of want to see how he plays in uh, that general position. And I'll also switch him to the right center mid roll because he'll attack and defend in that area too so yeah we'll see what the card is like hopefully he's a beast oh, okay let's go see what he's like boys which is a four three two one let's go there we go Already starting off hot with my boy Carvalho. Wow, he just begged me from that. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, he has a good finesse. A couple little left stick dribbles there. Well, movement. Oof. I had to wait a little bit longer there. But oh, we're back in business. Oh, can I hit the green? Yeah, I had to wait for the ball to drop. Oh, yeah, that's the ball roll finesse. Defensive play.
Okay. All right. Very good there. Very good. Oh man. If if it registered to him initially, that would have been perfect. Oh. Little old trigger. Ah. Okay, so by default, I just gotta say, left stick dribbling. Uh it's not like as crazy as it could be, to be honest. Um, but it's still good. You gotta use a lot of the L1 stuff, right? With this card. Some cards you'll use, like you'll use their left stick, you're like, what am I using? You know, like Bernardo Silva, Messi and stuff. He definitely doesn't have that thing to him. Um, but it's still good, obviously. Yeah, too close. See, like there I had to use the uh, L1 dribble, right? It does defensive stuff for me sometimes, right? Those defensive stats is very helpful. Ah, I couldn't get the green. Get the crossbar though on that. Oh, he's getting fouled there. Does he have free kick sets? Let's see. Uh, try it like that. Ooh, just missed it. EA, fix your uh, free kick uh, thing, because it's so annoying that you can't see it properly. Hmm, see? It's like this guy, uh, it's like he knows the account, and he's just doing the rat stuff now. Now... You you better be careful. I'm going to pause this game. I'm going to put constant pressure because that's what this game is. You better be careful. I don't have a tactic set up because of the review account. But now I'm going to destroy you. You're lucky it's slow. You're lucky it's slow. You're lucky it's slow. It's fast and responsive. I'm dusting you. One. Now the game's paused. And now you're in trouble. Yeah, keep doing it, you rats. Don't worry. And take it away. Might be a chance here. Yeah, yeah. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Works for me. Works for me. I'll take it. Yeah, he doesn't know what it's like to play real football, guys. He has no idea. He has no idea, bro. Oh, nothing on the finesse there. I left against the last guy. I couldn't care about the win on this account. I just don't want to play against that. So I'm just going to get the win and then leave. You know what I'm saying? We just matched the same guy again. We just matched the same guy again. I knew it. I knew it. I knew that was going to happen. Haha. <laughs> just proving my point for the Rans video. It just proving my point, man. I'll take it, though. You know what I'm saying? I look at the starting 11 for United. Lucas Klosterman plays with Jerome Roussillon in the fullback positions. Oh, red timed it. That was bad. Do you guys see the, like, even with the gameplay being the way that it is, you could still see it. Like, when players are, like, really responsive on the left stick, they, they'll still respond better than that. You definitely tell it has, like, a thing to it for sure. Oh, I see. He magnetized to it a little bit there. Defensive play by Carvalho. 
but he's done really well since he joined the club. Proved to be a good signing. Ah, I faked him out a little bit there. No! Try to get the weak foot strike in there. Getting the ball forward. Oh man, he did a tackle, and then it, like the tackle from behind is the one that is the thing that got the ball. I try to use a little bit of that L1 there. Way more power. I put way more power on that. Oh, maybe I get the header. No, I got to do the extra pass there. They know how to attack any other way, guys? I don't think so, right? AI defense. No, man. Not that skill move. Penalty. That's a penalty. Guys, he has a really good attacking AI. His attacking AI is really nice. I actually like it a lot. Fabio Carvalho. Go uh, top right on this one. There we go. Good shot cancel. Shot cancel actually registered there. That was good. So his uh, body type is interesting because... Sorry, I just saw the goalie else. I was like, you know, I'm going to try it. Um, yeah, so he has a lean body type, guys, but it's not like Bernardo Silva dribbling. It's not like Messi dribbling. Um, he definitely has a, still like a, a little bit of a physical element to it. Maybe it's just like his base stuff being transferred to this card kind of thing, you know? Like sometimes you use cards that have certain left stick, you're like, oh my goodness. But yeah, it's not on that level, but obviously it's still pretty decent. Honestly, if I were to use him as a midfielder, like that would be perfectly fine. You know what I'm saying? Because <clears throat> that's like the main position I see him being used in is that attacking center mid role. See a little sway on it, just in that area. Like even if I even if I uh, do quick left stick stuff, see, a little bit of a thing on it, you know. Yeah, he makes good angled runs. I like that. Oh, did you guys see Martial's new skill move there, guys? That was crazy, man. Uh, maybe. Never know. Sometimes I give those. Dude, I can't believe that the shot cancel worked there. That was interesting. No, man. See, you know what's funny is that I'm pretty sure he tried to switch to that guy initially, which is why I did the skill move to register it against the, the cursor defending. And, I, and it, I don't think it registered to the right defender for him there.
That works. That works. Good stuff. Ah, got to get the green there, man. Got to get the green. Nope. Roulette, man. Roulette. And we get a defensive play. Nice. That time I registered. There we go. That's what we like to see, boys. That's what I'm saying, though, right? Like, you have the five star weak foot, you got your green time strike, you can hit it, right? Oh, nice try. It's really far down. Okay, guys. So, final verdict on the Fabio Carvalho card. So, couple things to mention with this card right off the bat um so with his lean body type and those dribbling stats um he's not gonna be the type of player to dribble like uh bernardo silva because you know bernardo silva is always that guy that i always mention to people because uh his left stick is amazing you know messi obviously has an amazing left stick you know who else has an amazing left stick uh raheem sterling's upgraded card has one of the best left sticks in the game as well so if we take a look at the stats here Maybe it's like the fact that he's 99 and everything that really makes that difference. But he's also lean by type while being five foot eight. But I'm telling you guys, like some cards, they have the base mechanics down already, right? Because Bernardo Silva's rare gold card already had that left stick. That's why I always used him in the cam position before, right? Um, and then the other card was Sterling. So let me see what Sterling... I think Sterling was unique, right? I forget. Yeah, unique body type. So he has like mid 90s for certain stats, reactions at a 98 so maybe that's where it makes that little bit of a difference so technically speaking you could improve those areas of the card you know give him that marksman chemistry style use him in the actual cam position while working with shooting physical stuff to make his left stick feel a little bit better but it just feels like the card is formatted for that hawk or that anchor chemistry style depending on how you end up using him right so uh, definitely at this point in the game, not necessarily a card to use in the main attacking positions up top. All the versatile position changes is for you to rotate him uh, into the midfield position for the most part. So what's interesting is like I was mentioning, his lean body type while being five foot nine, um, it still dribbles well, right? But it's not as well as those cards. Like he still has like a little bit of a physical element to him, a tiny bit. Um, you know who else? Vitinha had that too, but Vitinha's dribbling is a little bit different. Like he does that sway sometimes, but it's still a little bit better than Fabio's in my opinion, especially because he has five-star skills. It kind of adds to it, you know, because uh, skilling is basically your dribbling in this game. Um, but you can see clearly that when I had the Hawk chemistry style, he does actually do defensive stuff. So if you decide to use this card as your attacking-oriented center mid, he would play that role well enough, right? Obviously, if he had some traits to work with, it would definitely have been nice, but he still hits some of the shots nicely because of the fact that he has uh, a low center of gravity, right? So it's one of those types of SPCs where maybe EA could have put him at like 50k, 60k at this point in the game, but 93k is still not that bad. The only people disliking it are people that want like full meta cards at this point in the game, but for the variables that you're working with with this card, putting fodder into it, lowering the price quite a bit, it's not that bad. I, I, still, I still enjoyed him for what it was. Uh, what impressed me a lot was attacking A on the card. Some people are giving him a maestro. I mean, you could do this, but pace, guys, is so important. Like, people do this on flipping, but, like, I don't know what game they play, bro, because this, the pace is so important in this game. Like, it's it, even in your buildup, it's important, you know? Unless you're, again, Bernardo Silva, specifically, specifically, being played in the cam position because i'm saying specifically because his, his sprint speed will be a letdown if you're using him in like the left forward right forward and stuff right but specifically there you're okay you know um but yeah i still enjoyed the card for what it was again adding the defensive stats that adds to the card if it was just the attacking capabilities part i'd been like oh okay cool you know but the defensive stats added to it added to the card with really good links too right red bull leipzig like he's not going to be on the level of klosterman and kunku werner definitely not on the level of those three 
not on the level of Vardial, because at this point, like having players that are tall, physical, definitely adds to it as well. Um, but yeah, for for Leipzig links, it's pretty nice because these guys are like S tier. Like uh, like Werner, I was like, gonna argue and say like, hey, let's put him at the S tier, but he's an A star tier at the very very top. Um, and the only reason why I don't put him S tier is because of the five star skills, right? Because five star skills is a really huge part of FIFA nowadays. Um, but yeah, and Kunku is amazing. Um, and then Vardiol is really nice too, but obviously not an SBC anymore. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it for the most part. And then the Klosterman, Klosterman's a beast, right? So yeah, um, hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.